So when it comes to gaming, most of what I do is retro gaming, specifically with arcade games and old consoles. And I'm not the biggest fan of modern games, but I still use Steam from time to time whenever I do want to play newer games. And today I'm going to be showing you the game emulations that I use for retro gaming on my operating system. And I use Linux, specifically Linux Mint. And a lot of people are used to using Microsoft Windows or Apple Mac, but Linux Mint is my primary operating system. So with that being said, what are the ones that I use when it comes to retro gaming? Well, within Linux Mint, I could simply go to the software manager. There's a section for games. There's even a category for emulators here, or I could even do a search as well. And you know, most of the major ones that are available on other operating systems are also available here in Linux, specifically Linux Mint. But these are the ones that I use the most, starting with RetroArch. This is more than likely gonna be the one that most people are familiar with. It is the most versatile. It's gonna give you the most games and compatibility for the vast majority of people. And for me, I really do enjoy using RetroArch if I just simply want to get a quick game going. Uh, this is typically what I'll use. And for me, I think for a lot of people, they're probably used to this already. So this is probably one that they are going to use whenever they do want to do any type of retro gaming. As you can see here, I have one for a Neo Geo game, Fight Fever. And, you know, everything works as it should here. You know, I don't really have any problems with performance, especially when it comes to these older games. And then the other one that I use is Flycast. This is great for Dreamcast games, uh, Naomi games, which are based upon the Dreamcast board. And this is one that I use a lot because I really do love the Dreamcast. It was my favorite console because I love arcade games. And in this case, you know, uh, performance for the most part, um, it is great. Uh, it's just that it depends on your hardware and the games that you're playing. And even though I wouldn't say it's exactly perfect all the time for all the games, for the most part, this gives me an excellent gaming experience. And well, if you are a fan of Dreamcast and RK games, then of course, you know, you will be happy with this. And as you can see, here's Power Stone. Love this game. This was one of the first games that I bought. Uh, whenever I did get my Dreamcast, whenever I had the money to afford it. So, yeah. So, Flycast, awesome for Dreamcast, uh, Naomi games. So, there it is. I have quite a few games here. But there is one more emulation front end that I really love using. And this is my favorite overall uh, because it does a lot of things. And it also looks really awesome. And that is Coin Ops. And the thing is, it currently doesn't have one that runs really well in Linux. It's primarily made for Windows. And so in that case, I do run it in Windows, but I have Windows running in a virtual machine uh, in Linux Mint. So here it is, this CornOps X. Uh, hopefully this works. It is a little bit slower because I am running this inside this virtual machine. So we'll just wait until that comes up. So there is CornOps. And I also have different versions of CornOps. But I think anybody who, you know, loves gaming, uh, they'll be very, very familiar with this. I do have coin ops on my uh, Legends Arcade as well. And man, it's just really to me when I first saw it, this is such an amazing looking system. It's visually just stunning to me. And at the same time, you know, it has all the games that I really enjoy. And you could add other console games as well besides just arcade games. But I do enjoy arcade games the most. And as you can see here, things are running well. And once again, this is actually inside a virtual machine in Windows, which is pretty awesome when you actually think about it. And right here, things work. And I really do enjoy this. So there it is. Um, just to quickly show you how I actually game, <laughs> specifically retro gaming uh, within Linux Mint, but also using Windows for certain emulators. So if you actually had any thoughts on this or any other emulators that you enjoyed using on your system, be sure to leave it in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my retro gaming videos, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description area below.
Hey geeks, if you are a brand new creator and you simply want something easy to get you started, well, I got something for you with my Creator Starter Kit. This is a super simple step-by-step -step guide that's gonna take you from having no channel to developing your very first YouTube channel along with ideas, thumbnail designs, and other creator tips including marketing. And the best part is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and get started creating.